Monday morning, it is 7.44. My A day classes are doing what my B day classes did on Friday, so they are doing the mini lab and then they're gonna review. So nothing that I have to prepare for. And then they all take their tests tomorrow for B day and then A day on Wednesday. For, um, Thursday, I'm gonna start a new unit. Friday is no school, it's Good Friday but we have to come to work. Um, I don't know what we're doing in the morning half for PD, but in the afternoon after lunch, since I'm part of the technology committee, we are presenting. And it's kind of like a conference style where teachers can pick and choose which sessions they wanna to go to. And I'm presenting two sessions. One is, I think, how to link within Canvas. And then the other one is how to use um, like Screencast, because I use Screencast um, at times where I record myself teaching, either a video of my, me, my, I'm doing right here, or where I'm working problems with my document camera. So teachers who might be interested in doing something like that, I'm presenting that um, on Friday. So not much that I have to get ready for today. I'm actually going to just chill until um, the school day starts. Five thirty p.m. Had a student who will be taking their test tomorrow. Come in for some tutoring, so and also to make up hours. So there was a testing fiasco. Um, so I decided today for this test to do it on our Canvas site, and against my own good judgment. Um, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to make a paper copy of the test. I, I will just put everything online. And it did cross my mind, you know, what if the Wi-Fi goes down or, you know, we lose power like the first day of school. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's not going to happen. And of course, out of all days, for some reason, the student enrollment through Canvas stopped working. So it was kicking students out throughout the district. So, and I realized this when... Um, Cause I didn't, the email didn't go out to the district until maybe halfway through my six period class. So I had students who were trying to access one of the exams and first it was just one student. They're like, I can't, you know, see your class in my courses. And I knew, cause this had happened before. So I knew like, I'm like, let me see your Chromebook and let me see if I can get you. Then I had another student. I can see the test, but it won't let me click to take it. It says you don't have access to it. Then it was three students, four, five, six, I won't, it was eight, I think that I had six period. So because I didn't have a paper copy test, what I had to do, I knew better. Um, I projected part of the, te the test on the screen while I quickly scrambled to take the questions from Canvas and place in a Word document, print out for those eight students to give to them lesson learned i knew better and i even thought it and i was like yeah it's not gonna happen and it happened it still wasn't working by seventh period but by that point i had already made a paper copy of the test the only issue is that in blend there were just a few questions where it gave the students different numbers so their answers would be different from one another so i have to have them go back and enter it into canvas the other issue is some students who took a test and they got a grade and I saw that they had a grade but this was before like I was just going just to see how students were doing well, when I went back in their name and their grade were missing because sometimes for some students as they were taking the test canvas was kicking them out like it was unenrolling them so in the middle of a test they lost access to canvas and to the test so I had to give them a paper copy so lesson learned, um, but I don't know, like it was a district-wide thing, so I don't know if I'll be prepared tomorrow um, in the event that that happens, but um, I don't know as far as I was gonna do something on Thursday, because my B-Day classes, there's no school Friday, but for my B-Day classes, we're gonna start the new unit, and I had planned to do a lab, but part of it, they were gonna use the Canvas site to help them with it. So I'm probably not even gonna rely on that at this point, because I don't know, just, how reliable it is. Um, because it's 5.30, I'm going to head home and just, <laughs> it was a rough start to the day. Um, but I was able to handle and the students were able to take their test. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more tomorrow about, I've been meaning to talk about this, 
um, students, I, I, I guess in a way talked about it, but just students who could do a lot better. Like academically, they are capable of being very successful, but maturity wise, because they're not holding themselves, or they're not taking accountability and responsibility for their actions coming in for help, they are following the course. But I'm going to wait until tomorrow to talk about that. It's 2.42 p.m. Wednesday, so no technology fiasco today. Yesterday, Canvas was um, unenrolling students throughout the district from their courses. So yesterday, when my students, they tried to take their exam, some students weren't able to log into Canvas to take it. Today, everything's fine. And that's my fault. I was just being lazy yesterday. I didn't want to make copies. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not going to do that. And then it bit me in the behind. So um, anyway, I wanted to talk about students that um, can academically be successful, but for one reason or another, they're not. And there are many reasons to this. Some students have just told me that their ego gets in the way of asking for help. So they might technically be passing the course, so they might even have between a 65 and a 70%, but they don't come in for help and they could have a higher grade. And some students, they, they're they frustrated because their grade isn't as high as maybe perhaps compared to some of their other courses, or it's maybe even the lowest grade they've had in their academic history while being a student. So they'll let me know this, but at the same time, they don't come in for help. And I, you know, I'm here before school, after school, during lunch. I'm not asking that students come in every day during lunch because again, that's time away from school. But um, if you're saying that you're not happy with your grade and you don't take steps to try to improve it by coming in for help, you know, at what point is that on you and not my fault? Especially when I go out of my way to make myself available for tutoring by making videos of myself, teaching something, putting it online, even finding videos on YouTube because I understand that maybe there are people out there who explain it a lot better than I can. So, you know, it's not gonna hurt my feelings if you don't wanna watch the videos that I create. Here are some videos that I found that were very helpful that you can watch, but I can log into Canvas and see if you've accessed those, those videos and oftentimes those particular students have not. I have some students who aren't doing too well in the course, period, um, and this has been all year long, but they'll, I can hear them in their groups talking about how the class is hard, they're following the course, they don't understand, and the, again, they don't come in for help, and it's the same thing, like I will hear them saying, yeah, or I'll see them out playing football on the field, um, and their friends will call them out too, like, hey, I mean, to come to tutoring. You were out there playing football or you were doing X, Y, Z, whatever that might be. So I always have a room full of students, not all the time, but I have, um, on most days, my room is pretty full with students who come in and they just, they want a better grade. Some students are determined to get an A in the course and so they will work really, really hard. You know, they tell me they want an A and I have some students who say they want an A, but then they don't really take time to study, or in some cases I've been told that other classes are more important than my class. Hey, that's not gonna hurt my feelings, but at the same time, like if you're saying that and it's causing you, you know, you're putting all this work into all these other classes and you're not taking time to look over the notes, ask for help, and it's causing you to fall behind, then again, do you have to sort of take responsibility for that? Um, I'm willing, I'm here and I'm willing to help, but blaming me because you're not as successful as you would like to be when you've sat there and just admitted to me that, hey, you're studying really hard for these other classes and you just can't come in to seek help in my class. So that's just some of what I'm dealing with. It's just, I, I'm not used to the number of advanced students. I enjoy teaching the advanced classes. I, you know, when I, in the years past when I've had pre-AP courses, um, I've been, always enjoyed the students because they push me, but this is the first time where I've had all the classes that I've had are all advanced courses, and I actually have the top students in their particular cohort. And so that's that's a new thing to me, so I'm trying to learn how to adjust to that. I know next year will perhaps be a little bit more easier because I would have had, at least this year and then also over the summer, to build out my curriculum, but then also Canvas, because I didn't start using that until the mid, middle to like towards the end of last semester. And I know I want to use that to help me differentiate among my students that are like top tier and then the students who are, they get it, but they need a little bit more help. And then the ones that are really, really struggling and perhaps maybe they need some one-on-one -on -one with me um, in the classroom. So with that, 
I am going to end, because, end here because I have nine more minutes left and I need to go to the prep room on the other side to go grab some chemicals for tomorrow. Oh, that was like brighter than It is 5.38 after school Thursday, so my students did a lab. Actually, let me show you. It's an ABC. So I sent them back to the lab. Um, I didn't give them any directions beyond the fact that they had to sketch a well plate. They had the chemicals. They also had to list, and they can determine what solution went in each of the spots in the well plate. It's also solid sodium chloride. And then they took the conductivity apparatus and they basically just placed it to see in each spot, in each solution to see if the light bulb, I don't know if you can see this, lit up or not. And I'm glad we had a whole bunch of these because I couldn't find them earlier in the school year and I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this particular topic when it came. I mean, I guess I could always buy the supplies, but that's out of my own pocket and I wasn't sure I wanted to do that. So then after that... Um, I didn't teach, I didn't even give them notes. I just had some questions up on the board. So once they were finished, they came back into the classroom and they answered the questions by going on to um, Google and doing an internet search. And I just told them to check their sources, at least two or three sources to validate what they were reading, not just going to the first website and writing what they found down. And so it was great because students were making the connection on, on their own. They're like, oh, that's the reason why it didn't light up when we put it into the solid substance. And I just walked around, I didn't do anything. I didn't give direct instruction or anything like that. I'm gonna wrap up on t on Tuesday with my B day classes. My A day classes will do this on Monday. Tomorrow's no school. It's professional development on Good Friday. I'm part of the tech committee, so I am presenting. Um, I'm presenting how to embed, how to link within the Canvas module, and then also how to screencast and I guess make videos for your students because I do that with my students. This is not, I, it's not as where I want it to be next year, like I'm preparing for that. So next year we'll have more videos and um, it'll be more, I guess, a blended learning environment for my students. However, I have played around with it enough this school year so that way I will be prepared um, next school year. Um, not much, I'm actually gonna head home so I can prepare my presentation for tomorrow. TGIF, it is Friday, 12.07 p.m. It's lunchtime. The morning calf, well, first of all, there's no school today for students. Teachers, we had to do PD. Um, also, there were several teachers who either took today off because it's Good Friday, or they brought their children to school because daycares and other child services, caring services are closed today. So the morning calf, we were in the theater for about an hour. Then after until 12, um, teachers were supposed to work in their PLCs, but I don't have a PLC because I'm the only pre-AP chemistry teacher. So I use that time to prepare some solutions. So I, I need to reorganize that, but it's something that I've been meaning to do since this, before school started because there weren't any solutions made. Um, it's very easy, but it just was another thing on top of another thing on top of another thing, and I just never got to it. So that's what I did. I'm actually going to have lunch right now, and then when teachers come back from lunch, I am presenting as part of the tech committee. Um, it's con conference style, so teachers can pick and choose, but... Um, I have received an email, so we're, we are revamping that portion a little bit this afternoon. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have lunch and then get ready for that. I'm presenting how to navigate within the Canvas module, and then also using videos um, or creating videos as part of a blended learning experience. And that's all that we're doing later this afternoon, and then I get to go home. Well, that's it. If there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. And if you're interested in checking out some of my other vlogs, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. As always, thanks for watching.